Safety for Tunnel is an advanced voice evacuation system with tunnel loudspeakers that have been especially designed for tunnel applications. Road tunnels are a challenging application where the top priority is to ensure the safety of travellers and to maintain traffic. Voice evacuation systems used in tunnels have to ensure effective evacuation of tunnel users to safe locations. In accordance with Directive 2004-54-EC of the European Parliament and of the Council of 29 April 2004 on minimum safety requirements for tunnels in the Trans-European Road Network, tunnels with a length of at least 500 metres have to be equipped with loudspeakers in tunnel portals on evacuation routes, exits and shelters. This provides the opportunity to address road users using direct voice announcements. In section 2.16.3, it is stated that shelters and other facilities where evacuating tunnel users must wait before they can reach the outside shall be equipped with loudspeakers for the provision of information to users. A voice evacuation system installed in a road tunnel should allow for the broadcasting of messages to travellers. In the case of a fire hazard or other emergency, it allows the operator to instruct an evacuation and direct travellers to safe locations immediately. The system should provide clear and understandable voice instruction from the first moment of broadcasting. As a result, in an emergency, Passengers can quickly and efficiently respond to the commands of emergency services. The transmission of the voice should be as clear as possible and in S4T it is possible through the use of DSP digital signal processing and specially designed highly directional asymmetric horn tunnel loudspeakers. Ambient system as the Polish manufacturer of sound evacuation systems has introduced a solution dedicated to sound systems for tunnels. S4T is a system based on the digital control units with built-in DSP and a specially designed ABT TNL100 loudspeakers for tunnel applications. The aim of the project was to design and implement a loudspeaker that generates the highest achievable speech intelligibility in the hard acoustic environment of a tunnel. Road tunnels are difficult acoustic environments. Conventional loudspeaker solutions used in voice evacuation systems do not provide clear and understandable messages in such an environment. In the process of the voice evacuation system design in a tunnel, you must consider some important factors that have a huge impact on obtaining the required speech intelligibility in these hard acoustic conditions. These challenging conditions inside the tunnel are associated with the long reverberation times and the reflections of sound waves from the hard concrete surfaces. These mean that it is difficult to get the right ratio of direct sound energy above reflected sound energy which is essential to achieve the required level of speech intelligibility. The use of acoustic adaptation, such as covering the tunnel's internal surfaces with materials, is not possible because of the extreme cost. Reducing the reflections is however possible with highly directional loudspeakers. Another negative factor impacting upon speech intelligibility is the noise generated by cars and ventilation and smoke exhaust systems. The required values of signal to noise ratio comparing the speech signal level to the general noise level in the tunnel can be achieved using highly efficient loudspeakers. Such a solution can give the appropriate sound level and intelligibility to the broadcast messages. Conventional loudspeakers for voice evacuation systems are not sufficiently directional and their low efficiency and power cannot achieve a high enough level of SPL, sound pressure level, without distorting the audio signal. 
Considering the above problems, the use of effective and at the same time highly directional tunnel loudspeakers is a complete sound solution in a difficult acoustic condition. By reducing the amount of sound reflections from the walls to the minimum, the ratio of direct sound energy to reflected sound energy is increased and then it is possible to achieve the required levels of speech intelligibility. The most important features of ABT TNL100 are the highly directional angle characteristic, asymmetric horn specially designed for tunnel applications, excellent speech intelligibility, the enclosure is entirely made of stainless steel, it is water resistant to IP66 and it has two selectable transformer power tappings at 150 watts. In these diagrams, very highly directional, vertical and horizontal angle characteristics are shown. The horizontal dispersion at 2 kHz is only 29 degrees and the vertical dispersion only 26 degrees. To demonstrate the difference between the performance of the ABT TNL100 and a typical speaker, here we show the comparison of the vertical dispersion between the ABT TNL100 and our wall mounted speaker ABTW6. As you can see, there is a huge difference in the directivity of the tunnel loudspeaker and of the conventional wall mounted speaker. ABT TNL100 loudspeakers were fully tested in the transcontinental Eurasia Tunnel, measuring over 5 kilometers in length in Istanbul in Turkey. Tests conducted by Ambient System confirmed that the S4T solution gave a clear transmission of understandable messages to the tunnel's users. Narrow dispersion angles and the ability to produce high sound pressure levels without distortion make the ABT TNL100 an ideal solution for the noisy environments of road tunnels. The tests have shown that the achievement of the required acoustic parameters such as a sound pressure level of 105 decibels and an STI of 0.5, that's the speech intelligibility measurement, is possible even with the loudspeakers spaced at 100 meter distances. However, depending on the architecture of the tunnel, selecting the quantity and locations of the loudspeakers should be supported by acoustic simulations to ensure the best results. The asymmetric construction of the loudspeaker has been designed using the method of virtual sources in order to produce the flat front of the acoustic wave. Through the simple installation of TNL100 on the roof, the ceiling of the tunnel becomes a boundary surface and the waveguide for the coherent acoustic wave. By reducing the impact of additional reflections, it is possible to obtain a coherent wavefront in contrast to the conventional horn loudspeakers which have to be mounted a distance away from this wall or the ceiling, the use of TNL100 prevents the occurrence of undesirable acoustic effects. This minimises the adverse impact of wave interference and comb filtering caused by the phase shift between the direct and reflected sounds across a wide frequency band. ABT TNL100 is designed for installation on round and flat ceilings. The best location for the loudspeaker is at the centre of the tunnel, above the line dividing the road lanes. Tunnel loudspeakers are usually installed in the opposite direction to the traffic flow, but this does depend on the direction of the fan system. The speaker has been designed not only to allow the transmission of clear and intelligible voice messages, but also to meet the environmental conditions during firefighting, maintenance and cleaning tunnels. During design, special attention was paid to the resistance of the loudspeaker to water extinguishing and fire sprinkler systems, as well as water under high pressure. The interior of the loudspeaker is protected by a thick mesh of stainless steel, carefully designed to ensure it had no effect on the primary function of the loudspeaker to produce the acoustic wave. 
The outer casing is also fully made of stainless steel, making the loudspeaker fire and water resistant and providing the safe long-term and reliable operation throughout product life. Several acoustic simulations were carried out during the design process of the sound system for tunnels and these showed significant differences in the SPL and STI parameters depending on the loudspeaker system used. The results for the speech intelligibility index for the system design based on the S4T solution using the ABT TNL100 tunnel loudspeakers were considerably higher than for conventional systems with horn loudspeakers or line array loudspeakers. The use of horn or column loudspeakers in a tunnel causes undesired multiple reflections from the walls which negatively impact speech intelligibility. The large number of loudspeakers that need to be used and the lack of any time delays between the speakers decreases STI due to an effect known as masking. This case study shows acoustic simulation results of a 2100 meter long tunnel. The following slides summarize the results of acoustic simulation using three speaker types. 192 pieces of horn loudspeakers T1510 set at 10 watts and 10 meter intervals. 192 pieces of line array loudspeakers LA30 set on 30 watts and placed every 10.7 meters on tunnel walls or 21 pieces of tunnel loudspeakers TNL100 set on 100 watts and placed on the flat tunnel ceiling every 100 meters. For comparison, it is shown the effect of the time delay setting between the TNL100 loudspeakers in the non-delay variant and with a delay of 291 milliseconds. A road background noise level of 95 dBA has been assumed. The reverb time in the tunnel, calculated by the EASE program using the AURA module, is 9 seconds. Total SPL result for 192 horn loudspeakers ABT T1510 is 108 dBA and it is 13 dBA above background noise level. The STI result is only 0.27. This is due to the acoustic conditions in the tunnel. The total SPL result for 192 line array column speakers ABT LA30 is only 98 dBA and that is only 3 decibels above the background noise level. It is too small a difference to obtain good speech intelligibility. The STI result is therefore only 0.26 and this is due to the slight difference between the background noise level and the maximum level achievable by the line array loudspeakers. The total SPL result for the 21 tunnel loudspeakers is 113 dBA and that is more than 18 dBA above the background noise level. The STI result is 0.46 this value is calculated without time delay settings between the loudspeakers. With the delay of 291 milliseconds between the speakers, the STI result is now 0.55. This is 0.1 higher than the non-delay variant and this is a very good result to obtain in such a difficult acoustic condition. The results of the detailed acoustic analysis obtained in the simulations clearly show the advantage of S4T over conventional loudspeaker systems. The STI values obtained with the use of horn loudspeakers and line array column speakers do not give acceptable intelligibility for messages broadcast by notification or evacuation systems in tunnels. Using appropriate calibration and time alignment of the system based on the S4T solution, we receive values of the speech intelligibility index at the level of 0.55. This is a very high result and impossible to achieve for the other loudspeaker systems in the difficult acoustic conditions in the tunnel. The speaker placement every 100 metres also gives us an appropriate SPL of 113 decibels. This is an optimal 18 dB between the signal and the noise guaranteeing the highest STI values achievable. 
A second case study shows acoustic simulation results for a 700 meter long tunnel. The following slides show the results of acoustic simulations using different distances between the loudspeakers. The first shows speakers every 50 meters, so 14 tunnel loudspeakers in total, delayed by 145 milliseconds. The second, every 100 meters, so seven tunnel loudspeakers in total, delayed by 291 milliseconds. Again, we have assumed that the road background noise level is 95 dBA. And the reverb time of the tunnel, calculated by ease using AURA module, is 7 seconds. The total SPL result for the 14 tunnel loudspeakers is 115 dB, and it is almost 20 decibels above background noise level. The STI result is 0.47, which is good intelligibility for the conditions of a road tunnel. For seven ABT TNL100 loudspeakers, the total SPL result is almost 112 decibels, and that is nearly 17 decibels above the background noise level. The STI result in this case is 0.46. It is only 0.01 lower than when using twice the number of loudspeakers. To improve STI results in a round ceilinged tunnel, flat hard boundary surfaces were used. The STI result was then increased to 0.49. In this case, seven tunnel loudspeakers with the flat hard boundary surfaces above were used in a round ceiling tunnel. The STI result 0.49 is the same as when using twice the number of loudspeakers. This diagram shows an example of a boundary surface affixed above the loudspeaker. The optimal solution for achieving the highest speech intelligibility in a circular tunnel is the use of additional flat border surfaces directly above the loudspeakers. This allows the STI to reach a value of 0.49, which is very high for a space with such a long reverberation time without using costly acoustic treatment. The high efficiency and directionality of the ABT TNL100 speakers allows you to achieve speech intelligibility at the same level when you place your speakers at 50 metres and every 100 metres. This reduces system cost and installation by half without lowering system performance. Again, to ensure the best results, you should verify the ABT TNL100 speaker spacing by conducting a detailed acoustic analysis using simulations. In order to minimise unwanted echo effects that adversely affect speech intelligibility, each loudspeaker needs to be powered individually by a signal from a separate amplifier channel. The use of DSP is necessary. This processes each signal with equalisation and a delay line. You need to understand and plan for the time that the acoustic wave takes to travel the long distances between the loudspeakers. Time synchronization of the sound signal coming from each previous loudspeaker with each next loudspeaker is very important. Our conducted tests have proven that using the built-in EQ and precise setting of the delay, it is possible to increase speech intelligibilities by up to an STI of 0.1. To set up the delay accurately between loudspeakers, you have to divide the sound velocity by the distance between the speakers. The velocity of sound depends on the air temperature. At 20 degrees Celsius, the sound travels at 343 meters per second. The S4T system is based on a digital fiber optic connection between the ABT CU11 control units and the ABT DFMS fire microphone. Communication with control units is performed over Ethernet networks with 1000 base X or 10100 1000 base T TX fiber optic links. Transmitted digitally without interference and distortion, the audio signals do not lose quality. 
The ABTCU11 control unit combines the function of audio inputs and outputs, matrix, DSP, loudspeaker controllers and a network switch in one device. It is also responsible for providing automatic evacuation and warning signals triggered by the fire detection system using the XLOGIN8F logic input board. One CU11 LCD controller can be connected to up to 10 TNL100 tunnel speakers fed with individual audio signals. The DSP enables detailed processing of time and frequency signals for a very precise setting of the time delay individually for each speaker depending on the distance between them. The parametric equaliser allows for adjustment of the frequency response of each speaker to the acoustical conditions of the different architectural tunnels. Control cards are responsible for monitoring the loudspeaker line and signalling the correct working of each TNL100 speaker. In the case of failure, they can enable the switching of faulty amplifier channels to backup amplifiers. The 8-channel PA8160B and 4-channel Class D amplifiers deliver 160 watts of power for each channel. They use 100 volt line technology so it is possible to transmit already amplified audio signals over very long distances with minimal power loss. In the event of a mains power failure, the S4T system will continue to function uninterruptedly by using emergency power. Fireman's microphones and zone microphones are used to broadcast voice messages. The ABT DFMS and ABT DFMS box are designed for use by emergency services with built-in emergency power supply and touch LCD screens and are most often installed at entrances at the ends of the tunnel and in service buildings. DFMS has programmable function keys that can be assigned to select functions in any way. To increase the button number up to five extensions this can add additional function keys of up to 100 functions. The CPU off switch enables for the direct transmission of messages to all zones without the control system, even during a central processor failure. Microphones have automatic detection of audio failure from the microphone capsule through to the control unit. The built-in black box will record all of the alarm communications sent during any period when the system is in alarm mode. The DMS LCD zone microphone is typically installed in tunnel maintenance buildings. Used to call general purpose messages, select individual zones and broadcast live messages, the microphone has a local monitor loudspeaker to listen to any one of the zones. It also has the ability to add up to five extension keyboards for additional function keys. The LCD has an additional audio output to allow for the connection of an external recorder and radio broadcasting systems in the service building. In addition, all of the microphones in the S4T system provide intercom functionality to give two-way communication between microphone stations. The following is an example of the typical connection of an S4T application in a three kilometre long tunnel with TNL100 tunnel loudspeakers placed every 100 metres. The technical rooms in which the S4T units are located are spaced 1,000 metres apart. ABT DFMS box fireman's microphones are located at the entrance to the tunnels and in the service building, which also includes a zone microphone. In addition, it was decided to use the sound projector speakers in technical rooms and the wall mounted speakers in the service building. Background microphones are located every 330 metres. This example shows a 1400 metre long tunnel with two paths with two way traffic direction. The TNL100 speakers are spaced every 100 metres. The technical rooms where the S4T units are located are 500 metres apart and firemen's microphones are located at the entrances to the tunnels and in the service building, again including a zone microphone. 
In addition, it has decided to include the P20 projector fire speakers in evacuation passages and technical rooms and the ABT W6 wall mounted fire speakers in the service building. Background microphones to sample the ambient noise level and adjust the amplifier levels are also located every 330 metres. This table shows a typical set of devices in one location to support 10 tunnel loudspeakers. One control unit for 10 tunnel loudspeakers, control cards, multi-channel amplifiers and an emergency power supply. This table shows some additional equipment that could be considered to be included in the tunnel design depending upon the functional requirements. The choice and number of devices may differ depending on the tunnel architecture and guidelines. Each project should be considered individually and should be preceded by a detailed analysis and acoustic simulation. This slide shows some pictures of the ABT TNL100 installation during tests in the Eurasia Tunnel. The loudspeakers here are placed every 100 metres. In the first picture you can see the distance between the loudspeakers. In summary, the S4T offers the most effective solution combining a dedicated voice evacuation system and specially designed ABT TNL100 tunnel loudspeakers. In contrast to conventional solutions based on the use of ordinary horn loudspeakers, it allows for clear reception of broadcast voice messages. The S4T achieves very high STI speech intelligibility which is unachievable by other speaker systems in the difficult acoustic conditions in tunnels. Thank you for your attention.